Good evening, brothers and sisters. I have just a few little dreams that I had um, last night and then again into this morning, which I've not been having any dreams. So I'm just kind of winging this video. And I just ask right now, Holy Spirit, please speak through me in your words, Lord, and not mine. In Jesus' precious name, amen. So... Last night I had uh, something in, I had a bad night's sleep actually, I kept dreaming and dreaming and dreaming. It's one of those nights where you just, you just don't feel like you've slept and you're exhausted. And um, this is one of the things that I heard, the last great age open door. So I woke up and I wrote that down. And then I went back to bed, and then early this morning I had a few other dreams. So after that, the last great age open door, I had a dream of a huge flooding situation, huge and tremendous. Now this is kind of close to what I saw. All of the waves and waters coming in between each of these buildings and it looked like New York or a big city like that. Um, it was at night time and I was down on the floor view, ground view, and I could see all the water rushing in between all of these buildings. And so that was pretty, pretty harsh, pretty scary. And then here is another view that I, it makes sense to me with the buildings. They're not completely underwater, but there was so much water flooding in between each building that, I mean, they were not completely covered, but they were a bit covered, so that was pretty scary. So I had that dream, and that was on... Was it March the 2nd, early this morning? I think it was about 5 or 6 o'clock this morning the first dream happened. And so if you can see, March 2nd to April 1st, which is the day I'm looking at as a high watch for the Harpazo, the gathering together unto him, the rapture, the great escape of 30 days. So I was looking at scripture some of the things with 30 days and it was interesting the one I noticed was the death of Moses and all of his people weeped and mourned for 30 days in Moab so I thought that was kind of interesting and by the time they were done with that time frame that parallel date is about March 25th or so and then they spend the next few days ready to go into the um, holy land that was given to them by God, the promised land, and they had to cross the River Jordan. And Anyways, I thought that was interesting. Another scripture, um, the 4-1, the Esther, all the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces know that for any man or woman who comes to the king in the inner court who is not summoned, he is but one law, but he is to be put to death unless the king holds out to him the golden scepter so that he may live. And Esther, who is likened to the bride of Christ, says she has not been coming to the king for these 30 days, another 30 days. Kind of interesting, that parallel. Also, in Esther 5 and 1, talks about on the third day, Esther put on her royal robes and stood in the inner courts of the king's palace in front of the king's room. And the king was sitting on the royal throne opposite the entrance to the palace on the third day. That's yet another parallel for the four and one, the April one, the third day when Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, rose from the dead. And then I put open door in this search for the 
great age open door and some of the scriptures that came out with Revelation 4 and 1 as I looked and saw a door standing open in heaven the open door come up here after the trumpet and also to the church of Philadelphia I know your deeds. I have put before you an open door no man can shut. Hallelujah. So I want to look at Song of Solomon um, 28 and 10. My darling speaks. He is saying to me, Get up, my love, my beauty. Come away. For you see that the winter has passed. The rains are finished and gone. Flowers are appearing in the countryside. The time has come for the birds to sing, and the cooing of doves can be heard in the land, and the fig trees are forming their unripe figs, and the grapevines in bloom give out their perfume. Come up, my love, my beauty. Come away. And other scriptures speak of the pomegranate, um, at that time, um, other versions uh, come up with pomegranate flowering and blooming. In that time, after the winter has passed, so I went to look to see when winter has passed. Springtime in the northern hemisphere begins Tuesday. March 20th at 9.15 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And on this Hebrew calendar, this Jewish calendar, that's this day right here. So it's just a week and a few days before Passover. Winter has passed. And in Song of Solomon, the groom is saying to the bride, Come up hither. Come up with me. Come away with me. And as you can see here, the pomegranate flowers in Israel have a flowering period that begins in April. So I thought all of this was pretty interesting. The last great age open door. I really believe this is the last door. We are in the last great age. This is the great merciful age. The age of grace. And this is the last one. And this is the last open door. And that open door is about to be closed. So I think this is pretty cool that the Lord put this in my dream last night, early this morning. And then when I awoke, I had the flooding dream. But there was another dream I had, and I'm not really certain about it, but I have an idea about it, so I'll share it with you. And if you have any other discernments or ideas, or the Holy Spirit is telling you something, then please let me know and share it down below in the comments. So I saw all of these candies. They were chocolates, and they were Oh, tons and tons of chocolates. And they were all white. And they were all different um, little creatures and little animals and different shapes and different sizes. And they were all white, delicious chocolates. So that kind of made me think of Easter, you know, when you give the white bunny chocolate to your little grandson, that kind of thing. So all of them, and they all had different sizes and different shapes, and um, they were in their own special packaging. And then right after that, they all turned to soap, to white soap. And so I hemmed and hawed about this when I woke up, and I thought, well, to me, the first thing I thought of was white chocolate all different shapes and sizes. I was thinking Easter time. And we know Easter is four and one. I've already talked about that. So Easter time, white chocolates, all in different packages. Could this be telling us 
we as the body of Christ, the bride of Christ, all different looks, all different packages, all different sizes. We are chocolate and we are white all together in the body. And then all of a sudden, boom, we are transformed. We are changed to white soap with our white robes. And we are cleansed, not by soap, but by the blood of Jesus Christ. But the parallel I see there the soap cleanses and we were changed the chocolates were changed so let me know if you have any other um, thoughts that the Holy Spirit may be speaking to us about in, the, in these dreams any of them so friends I just wanted to get this video out, video out and let you know um, I am still watching still waiting and it's pretty unusual I have several dreams at once. I've not had any dreams, especially of the flooding. Um, and, you know, that could be the doors about to close, the chocolates being transformed, and then the flood coming in that order. So, I just lift this all up to the Lord Jesus, and I just thank you all for watching, and I pray you are all blessed and hanging in there and looking and waiting for our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I love you all. God bless you all. And Maranatha.